If you had a computable general equilibrium model, for instance, back during the free trade debates in Canada, a lot of the numbers that were being talked about were based on CGE model calculations. Now, if somebody had come along and said, if we sign the Canada-US free trade agreement, our economy overnight is going to grow so fast that our incomes will be 15 times larger than they were last week, then nobody would have believed it. I mean, they would have just said, okay, that, that tells us absolutely nothing about the free trade agreement. That just tells us that you've got some weird parameters in your model that you need to fix. If somebody comes along with an integrated assessment model and says, uh, in my model, if I release a ton of CO2 emissions, it might have no effect at all, or it might with about a 1% probability cause the Earth to fry up into a cinder and cease to exist, then what we should say to, with that is, go fix your model. What we're seeing now is this 14-year gap that's opened up between the observations and the models, and it keeps getting wider. So even if it started to close up, we'd probably be looking at at least 10 years before it closes up again, but that's just a guess because it's still getting wider. And um, it's hard to picture, even if you had warming restart in the next couple of years, it's actually hard to picture the models ever being like the observations again, uh, which is a point that um, you made in, in saying, why do we need to wait? I would say we should wait because the modeling community needs to come to terms with this and, and come to some understanding of what needs to be fixed in the models. My guess is what needs to be fixed is that the overall climate sensitivity to CO2 emissions is just way too high. What it means though for policymakers is uh, the behavior of the climate models in regards to their sensitivity to greenhouse gas is the big determinant of these calculations on the social cost of carbon. If we're about to see a big change in the next couple of years on that aspect of climate model behavior, that means we're going to get some new information in a couple of years on the social cost of carbon that's going to have immediate impacts on the optimal policy decision.